Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert in ClipView. In this tutorial, I will be going to tell you about the preceding and the resident load in ClipView. So let's understand about preceding load. You, as you know that in ClickView we can load data from multiple data sets. So the preceding load can be used to define multiple calculations and the transformation within one load script. So in ClickView whenever we load the data by using a script editor it creates a load statement. So by using preceding load statement by, by using preceding load, we can define the calculations, we can define the transformations or we can display the specific data, specific columns after apply some aggregations on the columns by using the one load script. The preceding load takes input from a previous select statement. So it is always mandatory that the we should have a previous load statement or previous select statement should be there because then only the preceding lo load can be load. Preceding load is invoked by checking preceding load while selecting load statement. And once a preceding load had been done, once a calculation has been done or transformation has been done, we do not need to perform the same calculations or same transformation in several places. So that's the advantage of using preceding load. So let's take an example of preceding load. How can we work on a preceding load in a click view? So for preceding load, I have prepared a data set. And the scenario here is we have three fee, three columns, product ID, region, and sales amount. Region, Europe, South Asia, Australia, North America, and South Asian Europe, they are repeating and we have sales. So in click view, if I load this data set, so let's first of all, let's load the data set. So preceding load, preceding load data, I'll just load it here. It gets loaded, save it and reload it. So the 10 records have been updated and we got the data set, we got the fields. So I just add the regions, that's the region. I would like to create a table here. I want to add a new sheet object as a table and in this table box, I wanted to show the region, the product ID and the sales amount. Now my requirement is if I want to apply the aggregation, I want to perform aggregation that the total sum of Europe, the total sum of North America, the total sales basically. So I just wanted to apply the aggregation on sales amount based on region. So this can be done by using preceding load and we can present it in a separate table box. So let's have a look how we can do that. I'll just move it down and again open the script editor. I'll just set this instead of directory or directory I set all region, all region. And within this all region, before this all region, I add a load statement. So again, I load a data load. And this will load region, region, the column name, region, comma. I want to show the sum of sales amount. So I have what I specify sum, sum of sales amount and I want to display display as total sales by using preceding load or within preceding load statement we can apply we can specify the SQL scripting type like we can apply grouping statement so I specify group by group by region right? And now when I save and reload it, 
so you can see only four lines have been fetched from the data set so without touching without modif modifying the existing data model existing data set we have extracted the data from there so i got the sheet 149 fetched now we have got only total sale so i simple add region and total sale region and total sale the rest of the the product id has been removed the sale has been removed like here we have the sales amount has been removed the product id has been removed we are left with the region and total sale and now when i click on apply or okay we got the total sale and the region and if you want we already have region so i can remove it we don't want to click region and i want i just remove this as well because i want to add in a table box when a table box i can add region and total sale so table box region and total sale so I got this total sale. So that's the region wise total sale. So that's a preceding load. Next we have the residing load. Now what exactly residing load is do or resident load is doing? The resident load it can be used to load data from a previously loaded table from the existing data set or the data which is already loaded in the click view. So we can use it to load the data from the already existed loaded table and in resident load we can do a calculation or transformation and also it is very simple to load an existing file and table and this resident load is a very important feature of click view. So we can so by using resident load we can perform a calculations on an existing fields and table or we can say that uh, we can call the resident load it is similar to like we have view in our data sets so if you are familiar with data file data sets in data sets we have view in similar way we have uh, resident load in click view so by using resident load we can load the data files or we can create a separate table and we can remove the existing data set once the data gets loaded in a view we can drop the existing data set so let's try this so i'm going to update the i'm going to modify the same example so i remove it and for this first of all i'm going to load a new data set so i just remove this script save it and the data set I'm going to use for resident load is the world population. You can see that's a world population. We have country name, population and rank. And my requirement is I want to find out the, the percentage, the population percentage country wise and stored it into a new table. And then we'll drop the existing one. So first I load the data set. That's a world population. So I select this, I load this data file, word population, embedded labels, finish. And if you simple save and reload it, we have what 247 lines and we can add a new table box with the country name, the population and their rank and we got the data set. Now if I want to calculate to find out the calculation percentage country wise calculation percentage so how we are going to do that for that i'm going to use the resident load so first of all i specify a name country population country population then after this i again create a separate data set calculation table and within this table we will be going to uh, load the fields from the existing data set so load in this i want country name country name name comma i want the to find out the percentage so sum of population divided by sum of rank rank and as calculation table 
calculation table now the magic here is we have to specify a keyword resident and in resident we need to specify that this data these values are the calculations of the transformation that we are doing here these values are coming from which data set so the values are coming from country population data set so i just paste it here country population data set and then i applied group by group by country name and country name and if you do not close that that doesn't matter we save it and reload so now you can see we have got a country population that's our existing data set and also a new data set has been created calculation table this is like a view and this view has been created on fly this view does not reside in our data set anywhere this is only for uh, this is this only resides in our click view right now i close it and now we have a country name table and calculation table so i simple add a calculation table and we got this calculation table that's in the percentage so i just remove it and add a new table box new table box and in this i add country name and calculation tables apply and we'll do some customization so i get to numbers calculation tables override document settings fix to and show in percentage apply and so this column does not exist we created this column and now we can view the data as required and finally once we done with this the last statement can be we can drop the existing data so drop table and we can drop this country population drop country population so i'll save it reload it and and you can see this has been gone because uh, the data set the values are gone we have only calculation we are left with only with calculation table and country name okay so so because we don't have ranks now we don't have population left so i just remove it and we left with this particular okay. so that's how we can specify the precedent load and the resident load that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on click view have a nice day goodbye keep watching